I want to see you bust down. Bust down. Talk to Yana. Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. On a wig that I have been dying to show you guys. Like she is so beautiful and her name is Tatiana. I am so excited about her. So let's go ahead and get into this look. I am so excited. So ready to share it with y'all. I'm sorry I'm so loud, but whatever. So for today's look, um, I just wanna go ahead and announce that most and almost all of these products are drugstore brand products. So you can literally find these in your local Walmart, Target, um, sometimes in the hair store. But for my brushes and certain um, <clears throat> products that I am using, you or bhcosmetics.com because a lot of this stuff is bh cosmetics like most of my brushes all these black brushes the gold black brushes those are all bh cosmetics and they are really good brushes the bristles don't fall out and i just like them they they, they blend my makeup well and so i i just kind of stuck to those brands i haven't really started to buy a lot of the kylie cosmetics or the jeffree star or even the um jacqueline hill palette or or james charles brushes because these brushes work for me and if it ain't broke i'm not gonna fix it so the palette we're gonna be using today um is going to be the saharan by juvius and i am also going to be using the nubian palette so these two have very very beautiful neutral colors which i love to use in today's look is a natural neutral so to begin today we're gonna of course start with the brows the brows are the end all be all to all makeup looks. Like they started, you start, they be saying, you know, if you how you start, you don't finish. No, bro, when it comes to your makeup, if you start with messed up brows, that's a hard thing to come back from. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna brush my brows out. And a lot of people keep asking, how do you do eyebrows? I'm gonna tell y'all the trick to this. If you have a person that is really good at makeup or you know, um, like, you know, you have a local Mac, do not go to JC Penney's or anything like that and get them people to do your makeup because they will screw your face up. So, like I said, you got a Mac, you got a Sephora. Go into those stores and you know, book an appointment with one of the um, makeup artists and have them do your makeup. And when they do your makeup, you ask a lot of questions. You look at what they're doing. You have them face, have you face the mirror. Do not let them turn you away from the mirror because if you're trying to learn how to do your own makeup without having to go and pay for them to do it every single time, you need to know what they're doing to your face. So, and sometimes, you know, people use YouTube, but other times I've realized that some people, they just cannot watch a video and then replicate it. They have to actually see it be done in front of them. So that's a solution if you're one of the people that you can't learn from just looking at something, you have to actually do it. That's a way to learn because I'm telling you, that's how I kind of started. I've always been into beauty and I've always been into like fashion and makeup. So I've been wearing makeup since I was like seven or eight years old. I mean, I used to get my ass whooped for wearing it and sneaking and wearing it because my mama didn't want me to wear it. But I used to sneak and, you know, take my sister's makeup, go to school, or my friends that let the, that had moms that let them wear makeup, they would do my makeup in the bathroom or we would do our makeup together. Like once I started learning how to do it myself. And the only thing I used to really, really wear as a kid is just foundation and lip gloss. Like, or not even foundation. I'll say like mascara, eyeliner, and lip gloss. I didn't really wear foundation. I didn't do the whole shebang that I do now. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to start with this very, very fine tip pencil, or pencil, I said. <laughs> I meant um, brush, and I'm dipping it in my dip, out, eyebrow dip. This right here is by L'Oreal, and it's in um, the blackest brown color that they have. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna go and outline my natural eyebrows. Like you can see these are my natural eyebrows. They're already dark. It's just they're a little they're a little chopped up. I haven't had them done in a while, so. so I'm just gonna go on the bottom line. And arch that up and fan it out. You see how that ooh, that looks good already. And then I'm gonna go on the top. And then my top, my hair doesn't grow upward, so I'm just gonna overline it just a little bit. See how I overlined that? Yeah, I'm gonna overline that. And I'm just gonna bring that down and connect with this other line. And of course, all day today, I got a freaking pimple by my freaking eyebrow. Like, whoa, man, come on. Can my eyebrows just be great today? Like, let them be great. So, once I do that, I'm gonna just go in and make vertical strokes to create the illusion of hair. 
and I don't do it all the way in the front. I start it back so that way um, when I go through with my bristle brush, it'll it'll thin out the front portion so it looks more natural. Cause you don't want those boxy looking eyebrows, like square. I'm gonna tell you right now, you ask any person that does makeup now, hey girl, can I see your eyebrows from three years ago? She will be like, hell no. <laughs> Cause boy, what were we doing before? I don't even know. Then I used to have them pencil thin eyebrows. Like, oh, I remember one time, it was one time. So y'all, I was trying to do the most, trying to have them eyebrows done like everybody else do. My mama didn't let me get my eyebrows arched. And I tried to arch my eyebrows and I ended up like doing it with a little razor, like this little razor type thing. Took my whole eyebrow off. So the next day for school, I decided to like cut my hair and my hair was really, really long. Like my hair came down to here like in the front and I cut it all the way up here just to cover up my hair or my eyebrows. So I had got bangs. My mom was like, why you got bangs all of a sudden? When did you cut your hair? And I was like, oh, I just, I wanted something new, man. Forehead was greasy, breaking out, all kinds of stuff. Just because I done jacked up my eyebrows, trying to be like everybody else. Instead of waiting until I'm allowed to wear makeup. So you know what? Don't follow trends, y'all. So. Okay. So once again, I go on the bottom brow. The bottom line of my eyebrows, outline it, and then just outline the top. And if you mess it up and like this part looking crazy, don't worry about it because when you're going through with the concealer, that's when you can clean it up and sharpen it and make it look really nice. And don't try to make your eyebrows identical. Eyebrows are not meant to be twins, y'all. They are sisters, not twins. If you can make them sisters or you can make them twins, you know, more power to you. But ultimately, they are sisters, not twins. But do not let them be cousins. Cause I don't know who cousin, who actually looks like they cousin, I don't. So I'm going back through, brushing that out, thinning that out a little bit, you know, creating that little fade look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My hair always looks like a dinosaur head, man. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealers. So I am going to blend two concealers together. These are the LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Concealers. This color is Toffee, and then this color is Toast. Last time I used um, Toffee, and I just felt like it was a little bit too, too light, because I'm a dark-skinned person, so I just didn't want to be like looking ashy, and I think I looked a little ashy last time. So I'm gonna mix these two together, and then that'll give me that middle tone color that I'm looking for. And the best way to mix, put it on your hand and you take the bottom of your brushes and you just mix them, mix them, mix them. I'm so sad today, y'all. I'm supposed to go to Gaeta, but then it won't rain. It's all gloomy right now. Oh, for those that don't know, I'm sorry. I'm just talking like y'all know me, know me. Um, I am stationed in Italy. So right now, or oh, in the military. I've been in for um, going on 10 years now. And, okay, let me explain what I'm talking, what I'm doing before I start talking about myself. Um, so, you're gonna take your flat brush. This one is a little ratted and tatted, but it still works, it does the job. So you're gonna take your brush, you're gonna go underneath the brow, and you're gonna just clean it up and make it sharp. You sharpen it and you arch it at the same time. For those that need to know about how to get See how I do that on one swipe? And then once you just blend it down, 
make sure you just keep going back through blending it. Try not to take the um, concealer off as you're blending it, but just blend it down because you don't want it to just sit and be like very noticeable. And then me, I'm a finger blender, so I like to like go through my finger too. through on the top as well. I don't do that eyebrow connecting looking thingy that I've seen some people do. I just don't like that look. I feel like you you give yourself a, a unibrow shadow afterwards, so I don't like that. But hey, if it works for them, by all means do it. It's just not something that I like to do. And so at the tail of my um, eyebrow, I kind of took too much off, so I'm just gonna go back through with my um, brush with the brow dip on it and just add that back in. like about brows you can like almost always fix it with no problem I have had those days where I just had to take my whole face off and those were that was a sad sad day <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna do my so I just finished my other brow off camera just to kind of speed this process up a little bit. So starting off with the Saharan palette, we're going to first storage with this color here, Jamila. And I'm just gonna go in and just blend it into my under part of my brow. Now this palette doesn't have a mirror inside of it, so I'm gonna use my handheld uh, compact. Yeah. And this color is a little bit like orangey sunset-ish. Not so much red. I know it reflects a little bit more red because of my shirt right now, but it's more so like, um, I would say a red orange, not so much just red. But it is a very pretty color. Hmm. And you just blend, 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 blend. Hmm. It's weird because it looks straight orange on this palette. Maybe it's com coming up red orange because of my skin tone. This could be another problem or another thing, or it could be because of the um, concealer from my eyebrows. So. so I'm just gonna blend that into the crease and a little bit into the brow. Oh, like up the area up here. But over my brown brow, I'm gonna go back over that with a highlight. Stop right here and pop the lashes on the go off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, okay, so I got my Jamila on. Next, I am going to go in, just dust that up a little bit. I'm gonna go in. Oh, these colors don't have names, so I'm just gonna point at them for y'all. This dark, dark brown here, I'm just gonna go in with this, and I'm just gonna do that in my crease in like the outside corner. So, create that little shadow and definition. Ooh, you know what? I think I spoke too soon about Juvia's palette. I used to think of this palette or these makeup, the makeup of Juvia's wasn't pigmented, but it is very pigmented. I don't know what I was thinking talking about is not pigmented. So I'm gonna drag that out a little bit. And then just into that crease. Just into the crease. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I had to brighten my camera just so y'all could see the colors a little bit more. So next. I'm not really going to do a cut crease. I'm kind of just gonna do like bases, 
and then go over them with another color. So for this next color, because I want the um, the lid color that I'm gonna put on to pop pop, I'm going to go in with this color here, this one. It's like a peach color. I'm gonna just put that on top of the lid because I'm gonna I'm gonna cover that with another color. So I'm gonna create that. I'm gonna use that as my base. And for this one, I am just going to go into the lid. I want to I'm just going to pat that in. I'm not, I'm not blending it very much. I'm just patting it. Because I don't want it to go everywhere else. I want it to go like straight in one little area. Now this color, you do have to kind of um, keep layering it because it's not showing that that much. And with this product, honestly, I don't get a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow. So I like these eyeshadows a lot, a lot. Because I'm not getting fallout. I'm gonna keep putting that on just a little bit more. I wish, they, oh, they do have a shimmery brown. I want a shimmery brown. So next, I'm not gonna use this brush again. This brush is a little bit too thick, a little bit too thick for my liking. I'm gonna go in on the same palette, oops, sorry, which is this, <clears throat> the Nubian palette, which I was using the first time. And I'm gonna use this shimmery brown. Can you see that? Like the light reflecting, it's a shimmery brown. I really like that. And my look today that I'm going for is a halo eye. So let's see if we do this right. So with halo eye, you're gonna put your tinted color or your dark color. If you're doing a dark halo eye, I'm doing a dark halo eye. Put it on the outside. And then you put it on the inside of the work. Oh, almost like I got punched in the face. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this comes out good. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just gonna go back over to this side. Same thing. Okay, so um, I started to lose my crease a little bit, so I'm back in with the Jamila. And I'm just gonna go back in with a smaller brush, smaller puffy brush, and just try to clean up this inside corner. Cause I still want the halo clean. I like the halo look. Maybe next time I'll do a halo cut crease. Maybe that'll come out better. So, my next eyeshadow. So today I went and bought this. This is a Milani, um, what is this called? See Milani? This is a holographic eye topper. So I wanna give this a try. And that's why I was like, you know, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, um, a halo look with this. And I've seen like the Stila ones. So I wanna see how the Milani performs. Cause the Stila ones look really, really pretty. I haven't tried on myself, but I'm gonna see what the Milani ones look like. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna apply it with the actual application brush and then blend it with my actual um, eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna put that there. I don't know, it don't really look like much of nothing. And again, I'm just gonna come in here with my brush. What y'all think? I don't think that look like nothing. I mean, it's not really showing like how I'm seeing it right now in this room. Hmm. I need to fix it somehow. You know what? I'm gonna use this as a base for another color. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this color from the Nubian palette and I'm gonna put that on top of that. 
Oh, I don't know. This is kind of burning. That Milani stuff is burning. Okay. Here we go. This might pop. This might just pop. I don't know how I feel about this Halo look. You know what? Halo may not be for me. It just might not. I don't know. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going to see how it look. I probably shouldn't even be using this. It's burning. Pretty though. another color in my crease because it wasn't popping out like I would want it to. I'm gonna go in with a, a lighter brown color and go back over the inside and outside corners. Just that dark brown was just too much. So, I like to use a highlighter to do my inside corners. So, this highlighter, I can't even show it to y'all. It's by um, Sonia Kashuk. Like, right here, called Sonia Kashuk. This is what it looked like. This used to be my all time favorite go to highlighter. I didn't use a single other highlighter besides this highlighter. And then I just started discovering other highlighters, but I still rely on her because she is fantastic. But you can get her in Target. Unfortunately, out here, um, we don't have a Target, so that's why I kind of been savoring her and not really using her as much anymore. So that way, if I do run out of her, I still have this little bit. And then I made the mistake and dropped this. You know how when you drop compact eyeshadows or anything or makeup, in general, highlighter, it cracks and good luck trying to put it back together again, like some Humpty Dumpty. I'm going put that on the inside. Why are you burning? Mm -hmm. Hope that is a way to pull Halo up there. Okay. 
but still not that hay wasn't coming out. I'm just gonna take typical bright iron. I will say this is probably one of the hardest looks to ever do, but I'm trying. So as far as the eye goes, I don't really like it too, too much, but whatever. It'll work for now. The most important thing is this wig today, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eyeliner. BH Cosmetics eyeliner, you can see my fallout, but yeah. I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics eyeliner and I'm gonna create this wing. So when I do my wings, I like to start on the inside and work my way outward. These lashes are going to be by Kiss in the um, style Bustier. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on. I've already put on my lashes, as you can see. No, I'm just kidding, but um, <laughs> so next we're gonna start with our face. After you do your eyelashes, you want to go in and you wanna track them with your mascara. I use a waterproof mascara, this is by CoverGirl. Um, but I just go back through and I kinda like attach my eyelashes to the falsies. That way if I turn sideways, et cetera, et cetera, you guys cannot see the separation between the two types of lashes. So next, now that we got the lashes out of the way, we are gonna go ahead and go on to the face. <laughs> my other favorite part. So today for my um, foundation, I'm actually going to switch from my normal, which is Revlon. That Le Revlon color stay, man, it just, it, 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 does what it, it does what it's supposed to do. So today I'm actually gonna try out some Milani foundation. I have never used this one before, but you know what? I've heard nothing but good things about Milani, so I'm gonna try it. If I come out looking like the gray lady, then you know what? Don't do it again. <laughs> but if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I just could have put like one or two pumps on my hand here. And then I'm just gonna pop them here onto my cheeks. It feels good. It looks like my skin tone color. And, and I do get most of my foundations in the darkest color because I am a dark. I don't use uh, a beauty blender to blend my skin in. I'll do that for my concealer though, because concealer. Certain concealers, they dry up really fast and if you don't um, blend with a beauty blender, it'll get blotchy, so. That is actually really pretty on camera. Hmm. Might be my new foundation, I don't know. What I am going to do is, like I said before, I'm mixing my concealers today. So I'm gonna go back and mix my concealers one more time on my hand, the Toffee LA Pro Glow Concealer and the um, Toast. And then I am going to, now this time I am gonna use my Beauty Blender. And before I use the Beauty Blender, I like to spray it. So I'm gonna spray it with some of the um, setting spray, just to get a little, a little damp. And then mix in the, Concealers, and then I'm just gonna go in and blot and blot for your life. Okay, I'm blotting my under eyes to create the definition for the highlight and contour. And I like this pad because it's um, it got like a square tip so. You know, you can catch the little angles that you normally would be able to get. And you don't have to really swipe so much. Like, on my wing, I don't have to swipe so much. I can just dab up with it and just don't touch it. Dab up with it. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but um, I live beside a horse ranch. So. And believe it or not, it actually does not smell. My house is really nice out here in Italy. I'm gonna show you guys one day. Um, I have some vlogs coming out 
of the area. So I'm gonna do one for the local city that I live in and then the surrounding cities as well. I have trips coming up to Paris, London, Venice. For my birthday, I'm going to Santorini, Barcelona, where else? Florence, back to Florence. I love Florence. Florence is a beautiful city. Love it, love it, love it. So once you put your concealer, you want to go in and you want to set it. So the setting part I'm using today is by NYX. You can buy this at Target or Walmart. So either or. I'm just gonna go in with what brush am I gonna use for this? I'm gonna go on with this little thick brush right here. This thick brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to pat it down over where I just put concealer out. And setting powder is best, especially with the heat coming up. Honey, if you don't set, you're gonna be shining, 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 yeah. Who else besides me has watched her documentary on Netflix like a hundred times? Like, bruh. I love Beyonce. I am Beyonce in another life, but you know. Beyonce was a dark skinned chocolate girl in another life. <laughs> but, anyways, <laughs> delusional. So, you see how, you know, I'm looking real, real set, real, real beautiful over here. I'm gonna blend this a little bit more. Okay, so I don't really set like bake, bake set. I just kind of like put it on and then buff it up. So I just let it sit for a little bit. You could set it longer if you want. Um, but setting for just like a couple seconds for me usually holds up. I don't really need too much. I'm just gonna pat the areas that I really didn't. And this is a cream contour by Black Radiance. Oh, almost not my camera. This one, True Complexion by Black Radiance. And I just use this with me up. It has a highlight sculpt and a contour, but I don't use those. I really just use the uh, contour. I tried them once before, which is why you see marks in them, but typically I don't ever use them. And like, this is a cream contour, so you kind of like gotta work it in because it's like hard to get off of this, and then it's hard to like get into your skin, but it's really pretty, so. Contour, contour, contour. And then, once you're done contouring, you know, contouring. Don't mind. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, and you want to make sure you, you snatch. So you want to do that suck in. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, so next. I purchased today as well some Milani blush. Now, this blush looks absolutely beautiful. It's got like what, one, two, three, four different colors. So I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of swish it around in there and then And it kind of got like a little bit of highlight in there. So it's kind of like a brush slash highlight, a kind of two-in-one brush highlight palette or brush highlight um, Color Harmony, that's what it's called itself. It's a coral, it's, and this is in coral beans. So typically I use like a rose reddish color because I'm so dark skinned. But you know, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like on some peach beach vibes today. So I kind of want to do a little bit of a peachy look. So let's get peachy. Have you guys ever watched, um, what's that movie? Oh, it's not movie, it's a TV show. Um, Rick and Morgan, he'd be like, get swifty. Yeah, time to get swifty. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just recently got put onto that and that's a funny episode to me. Also that episode, Mr. Mishies. Yeah, so anyways. So again, you wanna do the suck motion. No pun intended. And you just go over that. Now let's see if this is gonna show up on my skin tone. Peachy. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, this might be for um, brighter skinned individuals, you know? Cause she's not really showing up that much. I don't know if I need to use the whole palette or what, but uh, I don't really know if I feel her too much, you know? Maybe it's just too, it's too 
light in here. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. This is kind of peachy. It's not really, really peachy. This is kind of peachy. I would tell them more for a more of an orange color. And another thing too, if you like don't want to spend all this money on all of these different products, you can legit use eyeshadows for the colors. You can use, um, you know, like if you want to have like different color um, eyeshadows, like you can put like a black eyeliner and then you can just go over, like it's gotta be a black liquid eyeliner and you can just go over that with an eye color and it'll like pick it up. You kinda gotta do it when it's wet though so that it actually catch, but. You can do that too if you want. I know, I have done that sometimes. I did that in my other look, but that look was beautiful. It was all like colorful and blue, so. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think I'm going back to my little pink because this peach is just not showing up today. So, I'm gonna go back to my pink. I like my pink, she does what she needs to do and she shows up. She shows up and she shows out, okay? I don't have to question her motives. But she does what she's supposed to do. <laughs> Y'all, I got this cat. It's not my cat, he's not. But he always shows up to my house and I always see him. But he's just such a user. He's just such a user. Just like some of these men. Users. Okay, so. Now, I mean, I was going to like contour here with the um, setting powder, but I just kind of really just don't want to do it. I don't know, it's just not something that I'm like a big, I'm not big on it, I'm just not. So, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight and finish this look up and pop this wig on and just reveal this baby to y'all, okay? So, highlighting is nice. So, I'm just highlighting with that um, Sonia Cool Shark color that I told you about. Like, look at that, ooh, popping, so. I really call this glow light because it's a glow lighter. Okay, it's a glow lighter. I'm glowing. Okay, I'm glowing. Like literally, I'm glowing. Like, ooh, ooh, y'all see that? Mm. You don't get excited about your makeup, honey. Take it all off. Okay, like, I'm just kidding, but still, you should get excited. Like, you should be happy about the work you're doing. You know, when you are painting your face with makeup, it's like you're painting on a canvas, you know? And your face and your makeup is your medium. <laughs> so, once I am done highlighting, I'm about to do this lipstick. Now, I got some new lipstick today too. But because my lips been a little bit dry lately, I'm going to moisturize them just a little bit. And this is a um, matte lipstick that I'm using. So hopefully this lip gloss don't mess with it too much. But baby, when I put it on earlier, like I have been in some hard desert for some time because my lips are so dry. So that's why I was like, I need to put some moisturizer on before I do it. Now this is um, Milani brand. It's a Amore Matte. Can you see that? Amore Matte, yes. And this is in the color. Mm -hmm. It's not even coming up. It's 19 Covet. But it is gorgeous. It's actually a really, really pretty brown. So if you have been looking for a brown, which I have, um, this is the perfect color. So I fixed it and baby, uh, get into it. Uh, feet, honey, we are feet. Down <laughs> to the groan. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I am so crazy. Y'all don't even know, like y'all don't even know. It's okay though, we are gonna be a little bit calm, cool, collected today. But now that I have beat the face, I'm going to go back in with my setting spray and spray. And voila. Now let's get this. So ladies, this is the look. She is fabulous. She is giving me all kinds of vibes right now. Like I feel like Beyonce, say you gotta work it out. Break it down now. Straight up. Gold member vibes. 
You're alright. I don't know, but I know it's happened to me, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Bring it down! Okay. <laughs>